On to um, Kano State, where our correspondent Ibrahim Issa is also waiting to give us updates. Ibrahim, um, Kano State is very politically active uh, in that it has the second highest number of registered voters in the country. How are residents reacting to this development? Um, Ibrahim, are, are you there? Give us an update as to how residents are reacting to the announcement of the postponement of the governorship election in, in Kano State. Well, thank you, Precious. Uh, as you can see, I'm standing on one of the most busiest roads in Kano Metropolis. And yet, as you can see from behind me, normal hustling and bustling is uh, taking place. Even though residents woke up to uh, hear that uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, postponed the uh, governorship election. Well, to some that we had the chance to speak to, uh, feel disappointed because uh, some of their plans would be disrupted as they have, they have other plans, other things to uh, carry out on March 18th. But to some, they believe that Independent National Electoral Commission needs time to plan for the uh, upcoming election. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Kano State, uh, being the commercial last center of northern Nigeria, has been uh, with less than a, uh, a relative peace uh, with the with presidential and national assembly elections. And then residents are optimistic that if INEC would have time to plan the March 18th election, uh, the, 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 the polls would be credible, free, and fair. What about the political parties? One can only imagine how much they have spent on campaigns and having to campaign for extra one week My mate means spending... Um, and another amount of money. How are they reacting to this as well? well some political parties are actually uh, satisfied with the uh, postponement of the governorship election. They have much more time to connect with the electorate. They have time to carry out their uh, political activities. I spoke to some of them. Uh, who, who, they told me that it is indeed an opportunity for them to go house to house, uh, chapter by chapter, to speak with residents, to tell them what they would do for them with, where they elect them, and as well to uh, connect and get to know more about the electorate. So, to some political parties, it is indeed a great achievement. While some uh, say their plans and strategies have been disrupted, but of course, they will do all they can to re strategize ahead of the March 18th uh, government uh, election. Mm. Ibrahim, we also know that in some parts of the country, um, education was put on hold in terms of secondary school and primary school education. Students were asked to, and even university, because they had given this period of time for students to be home. Students were asked to stay at home in the period of, of this um, election. What impact does this have on education in, in Kano State? Well, schools, uh, because of the postponement of, of, of the governorship and state assembly elections, you know, initially, some parents were uh, somehow skeptical to allow their children to go back to school until the governorship elections are over. But there are some schools, because of the postponement of the governorship election, send messages to parents that they should allow their, uh, their wards to attend school since the election has been postponed. Of course, uh, the, the, the break due to the elections would have been one way or the other affected uh, the educational process, but I believe in Kano State, since the governorship and uh, uh, governorship and state assembly elections have been postponed, students would have uh, about uh, more than a week or so to attend their classes and as well increase their knowledge accumulation. So it has uh, one or the other affected education uh, uh, in Kano uh, since they have the chance to participate in their classrooms activity, I think uh, it is uh, slightly affected. Thank you so much, Ibrahim, for that update. Our correspondent, Ibrahim, is alive for us in Kano State.